Hello and greetings to our lecturer, Mr. Mohamed Zulfikar bin Kamil, and to my fellow friends. Today I will discuss about major insect pest in oil palm plantation, which is rhinoceros beetle. The oil palm, Elise guineasis, originates from West Africa, where it grows in the wild and was later developed into an agricultural crop. It was introduced to Malaysia, then Malaya, by the British in the early 1870s as an ornamental plant. In 1917, the first commercial planting took place in Tenamaran Estate in Selangor, laying the foundations for the vast oil palm plantations and the palm oil industry in Malaysia. However, various hurdles and trials were faced by planters and researchers throughout the process. Amidst the various problems that arose, attacks by Orisides rhinoceros beetles had been an unremitting dilemma faced by Malaysian planters. Orisides rhinoceros, commonly known as the rhinoceros beetle, is an important agricultural pest that is known to inflict serious damage on young oil palm trees. Orisite rhinoceros is among the longest present agricultural pests in Malaysia and it has witnessed the formulation and implementation of various phases of control and management strategies. This species was originally described as Crabius rhinoceros by Linnaeus. In further taxonomic work published in 1840, this beetle was called Orisite stenter castelno. Finally, with the establishment of the zoological nomenclature system, this species was renamed as Orisites rhinoceros. Orisites rhinoceros is a member of the superfamily Scrabodia, which has been on the face of the earth for as long as 200 million years. Out of the 42 species in this genus, only Orisites rhinoceros is present as an oil palm face in the Asian region. Locally in Malaysia, this beetle known as the Kumbang Badak whereby kumbang means beetle and badak means rhinoceros. Generally, the whole life cycle lasts for around 4 to 9 months, allowing for more than one generation per year. Throughout this period, the female lays 70 to 100 eggs. Adult beetles have been observed to mate right after their first feeding once they have left their pupil site. These observations further conclude and support the fact that Orisite rhinoceros are robust, long-lived, and highly productive, and this contributes towards the large and frequent events of beetle attack. Materials like compost, sawdust heaps, rooting logs, decaying vegetable, bridges made of coconut trunk, dead pendanus, old latrines, sugarcane bagasse, rice straws, and also humus rich soil also serve as suitable habitats for immature beetles. As the beetles are nocturnal and feeding as well as mating activities are carried out at night, many events of initial attacks go unnoticed. Often the beetle bows into the base of the cluster of unopened fronds spears of the young oil palms, damaging several of the still full fronds. These boring activities produces holes on the petals and V-shaped cut on leaves as they unfold. The beetle's mandibles are used to chisel the inner part of the palm while the horn, clapeus, and the tibia are used to bore holes. Beetles did not ingest the solid plant material, but suck the juice. To the gregarious nature of this beetle, usually more than one beetle attacks a single palm, and this often results in serious damage, and often plant death. Such incidences have a negative impact on the oil palm production and the industry. In addition, more than 15% reduction in canopy size had also been observed due to the beetle attack. Reduction in canopy size often results in reduced photosynthetic activity, delayed plant maturity, reduced fruit bunch size, and approximately 25% crop loss. With the increasing number of beetles, the damage faced by the oil palm industry was significant. This both opened the interest to control and manage this incessant pest. Biological control agents, chemical controls, mass trapping, and cultural controls are commonly practiced in managing the beetle population with each procedure 
having a different success rate. Firstly, the field sanitation. The first step that is highly recommended among the control and management techniques of this space is the proper management of field sanitation as it helps to the control beetle population thus avoiding sudden population outbursts. A hygienic plantation ground can be achieved by clearing standing logs, stumps, and rubbish piles that may serve as breeding grounds. Apart from that, three commonly used pulverizing techniques in Malaysia, namely the Enviro Mulcher method, the Mountain Goat method, and the Beaver method are often applied. All three pulverization techniques prove to be useful as the decomposition period of the felt farm could be reduced thus restricting the availability of the breeding grounds for the beetles. The second one is chemical control. When considering chemical control procedures, direct applications of insecticides is not an appropriate technique in the management of this beetle due to its insufficiently exposed situation. For example, lambda cyhalotrin effectively reduce the number of broken spare dieback while carbofuran and cypermetrin were effective in reducing the number of holes on the spares and fronts. Although various chemical control methods have been tried on the population of O. rhinoceros, this choice of treatments are still not effective and it imposes health and environmental hazards. Another example is pheromone strap. Pheromones are chemicals used by insects and other animals to communicate with each other. Insects send these chemical signals to help attract mates, warn others of predators, or find food. Using specific pheromones, traps can be used to monitor target pests in oil palm or in residential areas. Therefore, Controlling the beetles using the virus needs to be based on localized release of high virulence virus strains and integration with other control procedures. Beetle To prevent the attack of this rhinoceros beetle, all its breeding places should be destroyed. Planting ground cover legumes can help cover potential breeding grounds such as tree stumps and palm fronts that cannot be burned. The rhinoceros beetle is an important insect pest of immature oil palms on peat. Senses by counting the adult beetles using pheromone traps method. Pheromone traps can be installed at every 200 meter along canals, main drains, collection drains, or roadsides of affected blocks. The height of traps need to be 1 meter from the top of the oil palm canopy. Control measures are implemented when the number of beetle trap exceed 10 beetles per trap a week. Spray with 0.06% of cypermetrin to the spare and the basis of new front every two weeks.